Hey everybody, Bob here and welcome to another Making Stuff video. Have you ever had the need to put threads in a thin piece of sheet metal, a small piece of plastic, or a 3D printed part and you really couldn't do it using a tap? Well today I'm going to show you how you can do that with these rivet nut inserts and how you can use these in some of your projects. Now some of you are probably wondering what is a rivet nut insert and what would you use it for? Well, it is very similar to a threaded insert. Now the threaded insert has threads and this would be screwed into a soft piece of wood or a piece of plastic, but it'd be really hard to screw that into a thin piece of metal or any metal for that case. And that's where the rivet nut comes into place. It does not have threads and it is set just like a rivet, hence the name rivet nut. Uh, you just use a rivet setting tool to set it into your workpiece. And I have a rivet nut tool right here. This one is an Astro 1442, and I've got links to this in the description of the video if you're interested in picking one of these up for yourself. Now when you get the rivet nut tool, you also want to make sure to get the right size mandrels for the different type thread sizes. Now this one came with three metric. It's got M5, M6, and M8. It also has 5 16 by 18, a quarter by 20, and 10 by 24 imperial measurements. And it also came with a small assortment of different sized rivet nuts. So I'm going to show you how this works by inserting this rivet nut into the square tubing that I have right here. And I'm going to start out by screwing the rivet nut on the end of the tool. Then I will just place this into the hole that I have drilled and then clamp it down. And it's just that easy. Now, to keep from having to spin my tool around to get this out of the piece, the work piece, this knob on the top, that's what that's there for, that will unscrew the tool from the rivet nut that I have just installed. So now you can see that I have got the threaded insert installed into this piece of square tubing and I have got a lot more thread to work with than what I would have had if I had just ran a tap through this thin walled square tubing. Now this also works on sheet metal. You can see here that it would be almost impossible to get a tap on that piece of sheet metal because the thickness of the metal is about the width of one thread. So I've installed a threaded insert here on the sheet metal and it works just the same as that square tubing. I've got a whole lot more thread to work with than what I would have if I had tried to run a tap through this thin metal. And I just want to zoom in here and show you guys this, where it crushed that metal, that insert tool, all the way around you can see there's these little teeth that kind of bite into the sheet metal and that's there so that when this bolt is tightened down, you don't want this insert to spin around inside the metal. So that's what those teeth are there for. So I was wondering how much abuse would this threaded insert take before it failed? And I'm going to try that out right now. I've got a quarter 20 bolt in there and I've got my ratchet here and I'm just going to tighten this down and I'm going to see how much it will take before it fails. Mm. And it is actually quite harder than what I thought it would be. Oh my gosh. Okay, I can feel something failing here. Oh, all right, something just broke. And let's see. Oh, <laughs> that was the bolt. The bolt broke before the thread gave way. So at least I'll know how much torque that will handle there. All right, so that bolt did break off down inside of the rivet nut there, and I'm not even going to try to retrieve it and see how much more abuse this will take because that kind of satisfies my curiosity. I know that that uh, rivet nut is going to hold enough to at least break off the bolt that I am tightening into it. Another use for these rivet nuts is on 3D printed parts, and I have printed out this test box here, and this could just represent, say, an enclosure that I'm going to put electronics in, and I just want to add and remove this lid multiple times without having to worry about stripping the threads in the plastic. So 
what I can do is I can install rivet nuts in the holes here instead of using screws. Now I've made these just slightly undersized of the rivet nut and there's a little bit different technique for installing these. I don't want to use that tool because when I crush this rivet nut it could possibly break my plastic here. So I have found the best way to do this is just put the rivet nut on the end of a soldering iron and then let it sit there for a minute or two and then just push it into place and the hot rivet nut will just slide right into the hole. And I probably pushed down just a little too hard on that, but that's okay because I want that rivet nut to kind of sit recessed of the plastic so I can get my uh, lid on there flush. So I'm just going to do this again. I'm going to put another nut right there on the end of my soldering iron and I'm going to let it sit there for about 30 seconds and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to insert that into the base of my box. Okay, so it's been about 30 seconds, so I'm just going to insert this one into my 3D printed part, and it was just that easy. Okay, so here is my enclosure with the rivet nuts installed in the base, and now I can just put my lid on and tighten these screws down just to make sure everything lines up, and it looks like it does. Now, if it didn't line up, say one of those threaded inserts went in a little crooked, all I would have to do is take the soldering iron, put it back down in that insert and let it get hot enough to soften the plastic up and then I can move it around and get it aligned to the way that it needs to be. Now fortunately I didn't have to do that on this enclosure, so here is my enclosure with the lid installed and the threaded inserts, or not threaded inserts, the rivet nuts installed and everything seems to be okay. So I hope you like my little video on rivet nuts, and if you've come up with a neat little use for these rivet nuts, please let us know by leaving a comment down below. And if you like the video, please give me that big thumbs up, and if you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing and ringing that notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming Making Stuff videos, and thanks for watching. <music>